Peyton Manning was born on March 24, 1976. He was the son of famed New Orleans quarterback Archie Manning, whose biggest accomplishment was not pulling out in the summer of 1975 and I guess the spring of 1980. When Manning was a kid, he fell into a vat of radioactive waste. This caused his forehead to grow at a steady rate. Peyton was enthralled with his father's play on the field and decided to stuff as much knowledge into that forehead. As a high schooler, Manning was a standout. Him and his brother Cooper were a dynamic duo. Cooper, unfortunately, wasn't able to continue his football career because of a disability, and his dreams of becoming the first Julian Edelman were dashed. Manning continued to dazzle college scouts and decided to go to his father's alma mater, Ole Miss, which is what Archie Manning wishes he could say because Peyton actually decided to volunteer at Tennessee. At this time, Peyton's forehead was growing at an alarming rate and would eventually reach a five head by the time of the draft. He was drafted number one overall by the Colts, who many people didn't even know were still a franchise in the NFL. He was drafted one pick ahead of future star Ryan Leaf, who is the only reason why Demarcus Russell isn't the biggest disappointment in NFL history. Peyton Manning and his sixth head went on to do great things with the Colts, racking up multiple Pro Bowls and All Pros, four MVPs, and a Super Bowl title. When his teams weren't choking in the playoffs, he spent his time making commercials. Unfortunately, by the end of 2010, Manning's seven head became too big and crushed his neck, leaving him sidelined for the entire 2011 season. The Colts sucked that year and decided to go with new hotness, Andrew left me at the altar of luck. Peyton would get surgery on his neck and fly out to play for the Denver Broncos who released Jesus Man just to get Manning. Manning racked up more individual accolades on his way to going to two Super Bowls, one where he kept the Broncos tradition of getting blown out of the Super Bowl alive. In Peyton's last year, he used all the knowledge in his eight head and omnipotent power to conjure up an elite defense that would carry him back to the Super Bowl where he would beat the cocky as hell Panthers. He would retire on top, leaving Bronco fans asking for more and Colts fans asking for NFL networks to show more footage of Manning wearing a Colts uniform.